morning. Welcome and welcome back to another vlog. I'm Gabrielle. If you're new to the channel, hello, hello. If you're oldie, I'm not going to say but goodie because my channel is so new. So I don't have oldie but goodies or OGs or anything like that because I'm new. <laughs> but welcome back if you've been here before. So today is Wednesday, April the 5th. I am on my way to the Avalon in Alpharetta. Um, it is a beautiful day. It's 85 degrees. I'm getting a late start because I know it's after 12 o'clock today, even though I've been up pretty early, been dressed probably since about 8.30. Um, today, our AC guy came to tune up our air conditioning unit, which we do every year around this time. I don't know if I told you, but my house was built in 2006. So thankfully, our air conditioning unit has held up over the years, um, mainly probably because the last six years that we've owned the house, we have been consistently getting it maintained and getting things done to it. Not not like work, but main, maintenance things getting done um, every summer and then also in the wintertime every winter. So to all my homeowners out there, if you own a home, whether it's new or old, you know, like your coolants, um, of course, your filters, things like that, just make sure that you're getting your furnace and your AC unit maintained because those are very expensive to have to replace. And sometimes even just getting the parts is difficult, of course, in the times that we're living in. So you may not be able to just get parts. You may have to replace it. Um, so again, just make sure that you're getting it, main, main, getting maintenance done on it every year, every summer before the summer because we live in Georgia so we cannot go without having AC in the summertime in the winter time yes of course we definitely need heat it gets pretty cold in the house and, and outside here in Georgia too so just make sure you are maintaining those things because like I said they are very costly to get fixed um I'm actually just changing my purses out I'm changing from this purse to this little Tory Burch purse, which I showed you all in another vlog that I got from the Tory Burch outlet, uh, maybe about a month or so ago. And um, I'm just going to head over to the Avalon in Alpharetta. It's like a shop, eat, workplace. So they have restaurants, they have shopping. Um, they have, of course, like where you can live there, meaning like they have townhouses it's just a very nice upscale area if that's what you're into. I know that particularly they have a Lululemon, um, they have a Nike store, and they have some other stores that I have interest in. Um, there is just one pair of shorts, which I don't think, honestly, I don't think that I'm going to get these shorts. I really, really like them from Lululemon, but they're like 100 I think $115. I just can't bite the bullet to pay $115 for a pair of shorts they're cute they're different the color is beautiful and the, well the variety of colors that they have is beautiful but i just cannot bring myself to pay um 115 dollars for some shorts that i can only wear for a couple of months it's not like jean shorts where you can wear them in the winter you know dress them up dress them down put boots on stockings or however you want to do that these are not that kind of shorts those are not i mean these are not those kind of shorts so I just want to see them in person um, and maybe if Lululemon decides to have a sale one day, maybe I'll pick them up then. But as of now, as of today, no. But I'm just going to go because, like I said, it's a pretty day and I just want to get out of the house. So I'm going to go ahead and get that together and then I'll show you all what I'm wearing. I'm, I have my braids. I put them over to the side because... When I went to get my hair braided, I don't know if you can see, but when I went to get my hair braided, it's been about a week and a half now. They were so tight and like the, the, the top part of my head was just so tender to where like I had to move the ponytail over because I typically just wear it in a bun. I would never put a side ponytail. I mean, I'm 42 years old. Not to say, but my ladies out there who rock side ponytails, do your thing. Do your thing because I'm not hating. I'm not saying nothing. I'm not judging you nothing because it's probably some things that people look at me and be like, she 42 and she still do that. No shade, honey. But for me, 
the reason I did this is because, like I said, the top of my head is so tender um, that I just could not bear putting that bun or keeping that bun on the top of my head. So I kind of shifted it over and just put the ponytail to the sides. So let me quit rambling. Let me go ahead and get my purses changed out. And then I'll show you what I'm wearing and then we'll head to the Avalon. I know some, I know, I know videos out there where people have shown like what's in their purse when they're changing their purse. So I guess if you're interested to know what's in my purse, I'll go ahead and show you. This purse honestly doesn't really hold much. I carried it one time before. It doesn't really hold much, but it holds the necessity. So that's all I'm concerned about. Um, so I have my card holder, which I mean, I need that. So it definitely fits that. I know this is crazy, but I carry a wallet and a card holder um, because believe it or not, like these card holders, they don't really hold, I mean, they hold enough cards. These are all of my, of course, most important cards, but in all actuality, like these little slots are very, very thin and I don't want to stretch them out more. So I keep my driver's license and my passport ID in this one. So with this purse, I'm just going to take my ID out and put that just in my purse. It has the inside of the purse has these little slits. I don't know if you can see it, but it has these little slits here where you can put cards. But because I carry all of my cards in one place, I just decided that I'll just stick that in there like that. Definitely need, need lip gloss. And for those, this is almost empty, but this is the Christian Dior um, lip oil in the color, I think it's rose, it is rosewood, 012 rosewood. I'm going to carry that. Um, I'm going to take my coupons for the Bath and Body Works as well. Um, kiss. I may stop by Bath and Body Works just to kind of get the 25% off and this expires on the 9th. And then this one is a free body care gift, gift and this one expires on the 9th. So I may just go ahead and use these while I'm out as well. I don't, I can't remember. I, I'm, I don't think there's one over there, but there I have to pass one. So I may consider stocking. Of course, need your car keys. I'm actually going to, I don't typically take my car keys out of my purse for any reason. I lock my door by touching it. Of course, my car is pushed to start, so I really rarely even pull my keys out. So I can just stick those down at the bottom. So my keys, my lip gloss, card holder, driver's license. Um, and I'll stick my AirPods in here just, just in case. Cause sometimes like I know my mom is probably going to call me soon. So, um, she usually FaceTime me or, you know, if I'm walking around or something like that, I don't want to have to hold my phone. So, and I just recently got these and it's just a little case with my name on it, Gabrielle. And lastly, just some hand lotion. So that's it. This is my business phone. So I'll just have that with me. And then I'll just stick my wallet and everything back in here. And I'm actually just going to leave this purse sitting right here because when I come back home, I'll be changing back into this purse. And I only carry this purse. I got this purse from the Gucci store inside of Atlantis in the Bahamas last year, July. So I only like to carry this purse during the spring and summer because it's canvas. It's not leather. So I just feel like a canvas bag is, you know, to be carried in the, in the summer months, I guess, the warmer months. So that's that. So let me go ahead. I'll show you my outfit of the day and then we're going to get out of here. All right. Here is my outfit of the day. Nothing spectacular. I just was sitting down. So my shirt just got all wrinkled up. But um, I just got this Old Navy kind of like cropped tee, I guess it is. Um, and they were on sale when I bought them. I bought a white one and a black one. I think they were on sale for like $7.
So I got those. Well, yeah, got those. And I just paired it with these black cargo pants, little pocket on the side. I guess these are like athletic kind. They're that, um, I guess like a nylon type of material. And then I paired it with these Tory Burch slides, which again, I got these from the Tory Burch outlet in Florida one weekend when me and my husband went there. So just something kind of casual, cool. Like I said, it's going to be 85 degrees today. So I just thought I'll just throw something casual on to kind of get out of here. I wish I should go iron my shirt again, but I'm not, <laughs> I'm not about to go through all that for it to just get wrinkled up again. So that's the outfit of the day with my side ponytail, my everyday jewelry. Nothing changes with that, except for I, I have started wearing my smaller hoops a lot more. Um, just because I don't know. I just, when I got them, I just have it. I mean, I wear them, but not like I should. So this is it. Now we are officially walking out the door and I will see y'all at the Avalon. I'm gonna head over to um, Banana Republic. I just left out of J. Crew, which I was only going to get a dress, but the dress that I wanted, of course, they didn't have my size. So when I leave out of here, I'm going to go into anthropology. So let me take a look in here.
Good, how are you? You say nothing's wrong at all, baby. I say that we're falling off, baby. Maybe we just ain't been on the same page. In my mind, I'm down by the In your heart, you keep trying. And the truth is, I hide. That's just the way we are. But can't say you love me when it's like that. Can't say I love you when it's like that. If it was new, it won't be like that To everybody else, it would just show me back But I love when we make up like that And you love it when I make you mad But maybe we just love like that Yeah, maybe we just love like that Sometimes I don't want you around You do something to make me smile And it's hard for me to try to doubt this feeling Yeah, we could just walk away Stay away The things I love about you I can't change No, 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 no
Everybody asking, would you so be mad? But I love when we make up like that And you love it when I make you mad But maybe we just love like that Yeah, maybe we just love like that Okay, let me first apologize for the terrible lighting. It is actually about to rain, so it's very ugly outside. But I just wanted to show you all what I picked up today when I was at Avalon. Um, I went to a few stores, took you all into a few, but not all of them. But these are the things that I did pick up. So I got these um, Jordan 1s, which I think the color is really, really pretty. I don't know why I'm just getting into um, gym shoes like this, but I just feel like this particular tennis shoe kind of goes with everything. So, yeah, picked up those in a seven and a half, and they were 110. And then I went to Free People, and I don't know if you noticed, but I have several piercings in my ear. Um, in one ear, I think I got five piercings, and the other one I got three. Just something I like, but I got these to go in like the smaller, um, the small earrings to go to give it a look. I don't know. That's just my vibe. That's what I like. Tattoos, piercings. <laughs> That's what I like. 
And then I also picked up these earrings from Anthropology, which I've been lately into costume jewelry. So I picked those up. And then as far as these, as you can see, it has a G on it, but you can see like the little G here for Gabrielle. So I thought those were cute. Um, just something different. I like things that are different. These, like I said, are just some custom earrings. They were $24.95 on sale. Um, this little set here was 20 bucks. Yeah, they were $20. And then I also went to West Elm and then they had 15% off their glassware. So I picked these up, which is a wine glass. They were regularly $9.50 with 15% off. I got two of those. And then I'm doing this on my bed, y'all. This is kind of bootleg, but sorry. <laughs> and then I also um, got these red wine glasses. <sighs> Rest in peace to my cousin, Crystal, who bought me a wine glass that fits like a whole glass of wine like I have not been able to find like a huge like a huge sturdy thick glass like this I don't know how my glass got broken but I was able to find these at West Elm and they were regularly $12 and then 15% off so that's all I picked up today Sorry that I'm doing this on my bed. I just kind of brought everything up and it's maybe about a few hours later. I went and eaten and everything like that. But yeah, so these are the few things that I picked up today while I was at the Avalon. Mm -hmm.